Common coefficient. Sometimes it is not possible to eliminate a variable by simply adding or subtracting the equations. When this is the case, you need to multiply one or both equations by a non-zero number in order to create a common coefficient before adding or subtracting the equations. It's an extra step of work. Here's an example where this would apply. So it wants us to solve the system using elimination, but as the system is, I don't have the same or opposite coefficients. I have a 3x and 5x, and a 4y and negative 2y. It's not easy to see which variable we'll eliminate. The y would be the easiest variable to eliminate, though, because 4 is a common coefficient. Multiplying the entire second equation by 2 will make the coefficients become opposite. So if we take the second equation, 5x minus 2y equals 18, and multiply by 2, that will give us 10x minus 4y equals 36. So now together, we have our opposite coefficients, now 4y and negative 4y. So we can add them together to eliminate and get 13x equals 26 and x equals 2. So now when x equals 2, let's substitute that into one of our equations here to solve for y. So 3 times 2 is 6. Subtracting 6 will get us negative 16 and dividing by 4 will make y equal negative 4. So together, 2, negative 4 is the solution. And if we have x equals 2 and y equals negative 4, giving our check, it works and makes both equations in the system true. In the previous example, the y was eliminated by finding a common coefficient of 4. Creating a common coefficient of 4 required one additional step, multiplying that second equation by 2. So either variable can be eliminated when solving a system of equations as long as a common coefficient is utilized. And that's just all about looking at the two equations and trying to find and create that. You have to make the decision yourself. Here's a different one. Now we have, or a different way, we have the same exact system, but now let's try eliminating the x. So we have 3x and 5x. So let's multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 3 so that the coefficients will be the same. So the first equation we're going to multiply by 5 and the second by 3. Notice those numbers are coming from the opposite coefficients. Okay, we're multiplying the first by 5 since the other coefficient is 5 and we're multiplying the, first, the second by 3 since the first coefficient was 3. Distributing both will create new equations that now have opposite coefficients, 15x and 15x. So we can subtract, which will eliminate the 15x's and 20y minus a negative 6y, 26y, negative 50 minus 54, negative 104, and dividing by 26, we'll get y equals negative 4. We can now substitute that into either equation. So we're choosing this one, 3x plus 4y equals negative 10. Multiplying, changing to negative 16, adding the 16, and dividing by 3 gives us x equals 2. So we get, again, 2, negative 4 as our solution, and it works as our check as it did before in both equations. So whether you eliminate the y's or the x's, it's up to you. You have to make that decision. So each system here, you have to start to solve using elimination by asking which variable would you eliminate. And since it doesn't, none of these systems automatically have opposite coefficients or even the same coefficient, you have to ask yourself what would you need to multiply each equation by. Again, there's no right or wrong answer as long as you end up with those opposite or same coefficients. So for the first system, I notice that there is a coefficient of 2x and 1x, and there's a common coefficient of 2. 
If I multiply the second equation by negative 2, I'll create my opposite of 2x and negative 2x. So in one step, I now can add my two equations together for my elimination. In the second equation, I have 3x and 5x, 8y and negative 6y. Now what I notice here in this system is that there, the y variables would be best to eliminate because I have a positive coefficient and a negative coefficient. So I need to still multiply both equations. Think 8 and 6 both have a common coefficient of 24. So I can multiply the top equation by 3 and the bottom equation by 4, and that will give me a, if I multiply through, it will give me 24y, and it will give me, if I multiply through the bottom equation, negative 24y, which will then eliminate. So there I was looking more at the fact that they had opposite signs. Uh, very similar for the third system, I see my opposite signs and I know that 3 goes into 6, that they have the common coefficient of 6. So I can multiply the bottom equation by just 2 and that will create, the top one will stay 6y and the bottom will change when I multiply through to negative 6y. So you could have eliminated either variables. It's just going to, again, be what you see when you're solving the problem and what is going to be easiest or fastest to use that elimination method.